Congratulations, massive win. Um, I just wanted to ask about the match winner, Timo. Um, how, how important was it that he scored today after a little drought? And um, what can you do to make sure there's no more droughts as well? I cannot do nothing. He needs to do. He needs to keep on scoring and, and catch the moment. Um, he is uh, quite often involved in our goals, with uh, even in the last weeks, with um, maybe fouls in the penalty uh, area or with assists, like against uh, Man City. But uh, nothing helps more than than a decisive goal. I'm very happy because I felt him very strong today from the start. He was very good in with the, uh, in distributing the balls, in dropping from the number nine position and 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 keeping the balls for us. Um, he had good timings in the in the deep runs behind the line. He was involved in, in in many chances, half chances. So uh, was was very very nice that he could uh, that he could score. Could have had a second one for sure. After that, he lost a bit his confidence and, and uh, was a bit tired. So um, it's good, good, good performance, and I'm I'm happy because it was uh, like you said a big win. Andy Dillon. Hi Thomas. Hi. Hi. Yeah. Um, I wonder if you could uh, expand on that for us, please. You say it was a big win. Uh, I mean, I know there's still five games to go, but you've opened up three point gap on the team in fifth ahead of uh, the game against Real Madrid. I mean, just how significant is is it to come here and win? Yeah, it is very significant because it's so easy. To, uh, it is uh, so, so so difficult uh, to, to, to win here, obviously. Um, you see, I saw us very, very strong in the first half. Uh, very concentrated uh, performance. Uh, we have to be so... Uh, so patient and aggressive at the same time because uh, they invite you sometimes to come into their half. You, they invite you to have ball possession, but once you do easy ball losses, once you do, you have crucial ball losses. They can punish you in any second with with counter attacks and with set pieces. Uh, we did not allow that in the first half. Uh, we controlled the game. We had excellent counter pressing and, and close the spaces for counter attacks very very bravely. So I'm very happy about that. Then you see we were a bit too passive, too deep in second half uh, for 15 minutes, and we instantly suffered from their quality and physicality. We were a bit lucky not to concede maybe a, a shot from from uh, from Lingard, but overall, it's a big strength of us to not concede uh, chances, to not concede big chances. The the team effort is is huge, and uh, after 15 minutes, we we got the control back. Uh, of the game and had chances to 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 make it uh, uh, to have a two goal cushion to make a second one and maybe control the game after that. If it's a one zero, if you cannot score, it's always tough and, until the end. But um, I felt our team very very focused and um, very focused and very strong, and it's the best way of of course now to to arrive in uh, in another massive match in, in Champions League. And like you say, the race will go on. And we have to um, um, continue to deliver points. OK, last two in today's game. Joe Prince-Wright and Jacob to finish. Joe. Hi, Thomas. Um, obviously, this season is all about finishing in the top four. But how much is it about putting down a marker for next season to be among the title contenders? Because looking at the stats, since you arrived in January, Man City are the only team that have won more points than you in the Premier League. So that says something, right, about setting the tone and and putting in these impressive performances for next season as well? Well, all the performances are the new benchmark for us and we are our own benchmark. So when we do it now, we want to do it on Tuesday again. If we do it on Tuesday again, we want to do it on Saturday again. And this is, this is how we approach, uh, this is how we approach uh, our team and this is how you approach on high level in high level sports you cannot be distracted by by too many visions and and too many goals that are too far away but yeah we, we are i'm very happy with the consistency of 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 quality i'm very happy with the with the level that we we can deliver every three days and um, that we play courage and on we it's it's always a team effort and and it's a very very high level that we can produce consistently um and 
this is what we demand for for Tuesday again in all different uh, in all different setups. Let it be FA Cup or Champions League or now in the league. We demand we demand the same full focus and reach your own highest level and play on that level. And this will not change for next season and uh, from day one. And no matter what we say next season, uh, what the target is, the target the target will then be for. I'm absolute 100 percent sure to win the first match when the first match arrives, and and this will even start in pre-season. Um, there will be we will not allow uh, we will not allow nobody to drop one percent even in, in in friendly matches because when you sign up for Chelsea, you sign up for highest competition and you sign up for winning. And um, for this, we have to stay with both feet on the ground and work hard. And I think this is what the team feels right now. They feel absolutely tired. They feel that is, uh, there are things to improve and still we are capable to win. But never forget, you always need also uh, a bit of luck in every, in every match. And you need to deserve it, of course. And then you need to have it uh, to produce uh, consistently results. And I'm, I'm happy that we reach, we reach this point now in the crucial moment of the season where, where it's still like this. Last question on today before quick Mondays, Jacob Steinberg. Hi, Thomas. Uh, you deserve to win, but I'm just wondering what you thought of the red card. Um, is that is that something of a worry for you, even given you know the referee's gone over to look at it on the monitor and still can't see that it's a pretty straightforward clearance from the West Ham defender? Yeah, I think the follow through is a bit dangerous, and uh, and it looked maybe maybe I did not see it at all live, but on on TV I could not. I, um, I saw it just from some meters distance and in in in, a, in, a, in, in the angle, but uh, in a, in a difficult angle. But uh, what I saw, it looked on the looked on TV maybe a bit worse than it actually was. Was a was a was a harsh follow through, um, and uh, and then they decided maybe that it was was a dangerous foul, and a reckless foul. It's not a must. The red card is, is not a must, um, but it's, a, it's it's for me it's a decision that the referee can take. He needs to feel. He needs to feel it live. He needs to f- see it again, maybe. If VAR wants to see it again, check it again, and then it can be. A, a, he can stay with a yellow card, and it would be no mistake. I think if he gives the red card, it's not a big mistake. Um, it's uh, yeah, it's in between. It's a very hard decision. Yeah, that's true, but maybe not a wrong decision. Okay, that's the end of today's pre- review. We're going to do a very quick Mondays. So if you want a question for the Mondays, that will have an embargo of it of tomorrow night at 22.30. We'll start.